Just when Vin suspects that his adventure is winding down, the old patriarch, Aki Basai, is just getting fired up. Uh, Aki is really proud that you have got your tattoos done the traditional way. And now he wants you to be his adopted son. The tattoos are like his tattoos, the body is like his. I would be honored to be your son and to be part of your family. Thank you. The scrong is a good way to stay cool until tomorrow's adoption ceremony and a good chance to reflect on what my beautiful new tattoos actually mean. This, this size of these tattoos you've got. Well, I know this part is the flower. Yeah. And while Eddie was tattooing me, he said that the center design was based on the design that was found on the belly of a tadpole. Well, I heard they were the fruit. Those egg, egg plants. Right. Cut in half. You look at this cross-section of you. Yeah. And I also heard that there were the for the wood chips off the shavings, you know. Right. I just can't see that being the belly of a tadpole. A half-day hike to a tadpole pond will settle the argument. If the tadpole's belly resembles the spiral in the middle of my tattoos, then it looks like the frog also lies at the heart of the most common of all Iban tattoos. The frog is important in Iban mythology as the creator of men. And a frog tattooed on the throat protects Aki and Gentan from losing their heads in battle. For me, tracking down the tadpole has brought into focus why Tom and I wanted to make this trip so badly. It's rare in this day and age to actually make a new discovery. And this makes us feel, for the first time, like true tattoo hunters. That's it. Oh, that's it. Look at that. There. You see that spiral pattern? That's exactly the same as the center of my tattoo. Just like the tadpole morphing into a frog, I see my Iban tattoos as part of my transformation here on the Scrong. From Vincent Errol Hemmingson to Mpong Anak Mingat, Aki's wearing the beret of his Iban Ranger Regiment. It reminds me just what a legend he is and how proud I am to be his son. Aki has no son of his own and only one other adopted Iban son. I'm the only white man in the family. It's a great honor and I feel a responsibility attached to it. I'm just not sure what it is exactly. What I do know is that seeing so many young men eager to wear a traditional tattoo, even if it's only from a felt pen, suggests that a tattoo revival among the Iban may be possible. From the moment that Aki and I met, I felt a connection between us. But I now understand that Aki also sees my adoption in more practical terms. It's a way to help the Longhouse by building alliances, an old Ivan strategy. shaman is calling upon the gods to recognize me as Umpong Anak Mingat after Aki's deceased grandfather. I am now Umpong, the son of Mingat, as Aki Basai is known to his friends. It must be obvious by now that I'm in way over my head swept along in this wild adventure as surely as if I'd been carried away by the floodwaters of the Scrong. <laughs> and what about this guy, Gentan? Look at him dance. He's still as supple as a teenager. 
and this day isn't over yet. Before the sun sets on Umpong Anak Mingat, he's going to find out that Aki Basai had a dream, predicting the arrival of a stranger who would become his son. This isn't the Vince Hemmingson of old. This is Umpang Anak Mingat. And as soon as the dancing stops, he learns that his visit here has been predestined. So what you're saying is both you and Aki, in your dreams, knew that I was coming. Yeah, we, we yeah, exactly. So he wanted you to be his son because somehow or rather, right, you would be the, the catalyst to start this uh, uh, revival again. You will be one of the one of the cogs in the machine. Right. Yeah, you, know, you will play a part in helping us um, revive a dying culture. 